A very good morning and a warm welcome to today's celebration of the Holy Eucharist from Redemptorist Media Center. During this Holy Mass, we pray for the following intentions. We pray for the repose of the souls of A. Dominic Reddy, Anthony R., Blanche Carvalho, Bona de Souza, Bruno Lean, C. R. Ratnasing, Cedric Vaz, Cherian Dominic, Crystal Frutal, Doris Jacinta, Elizabeth Emmanuel, Esperanza Cotros, and Holy Souls in Purgatory. Franklin Paul Aruja, Germain Felix, Jambal, Joseph John, Camoens, Lata Jehovah, Loyola Jairaj, Mother Elizabeth Emmanuel, N. Neela Jairaj, Nesta Moreira, P. R. Lobo, Pastor Tavidu Raj, Louis Arakiswami, Pastor Victor Mohan, Pastor Caleb, Paul Joseph Mundanda, Paulin Fernandez, Berlian, Regan Joseph, Richard Milo, Robert Faxon, Ronald Lobo, S. Berlian, Safian's Roman Miranda, Sheila Anthony, Sherin Concesal, Ursula. Men Menzis, Veronica Mal, Xavier Sundaraj, C.A. Maria Raj and C.A. Arun Kumar, deceased members of the Gonzalez family on the first death anniversary of Alma Croshaw, Gladys and Frank Conquest, John and Esmeralda de Souza, Julie and John Pinto, Keith and Denver Claremont, Mary Clotty Lobo Raj and Amrit Raj, Mary Margaret, Mary Joseph, Josephine Flora, Ma Maria Dominic Savio and S. M. Ignatius, Mr. and Mrs. V. J. Gervais, and for the near and dear ones of the Dorothy family. We also offer this on the 40th day of remembrance of A. Magimai Nathan, Celine De Silva, Dr. Ida Vicky, Loyola Jairaj, Philip Patel, R. Joseph Prasad, Harmon De Souza, Henry Brown, Roque Ferro, T. R. Alderson, on the death anniversaries, first death anniversary of Abhijit Augustine, Angeline Varghese, Augustine Patrick Miskita, Dorothy Xavier, second death anniversary of Daisy Devoto, third death anniversary of Lily Wallace Mackenzie, fifth death anniversary of J. Michael, tenth anniversary of George Tarakan. We also offer this mass for, for Thanksgiving on the birthdays of Jeffrey Jonathan, Robin Charles Serrao, Anna Fernandez, Bel Benel Pereira, Dione Mari, Mari Sequera, Jaya Tangaraj, Kanti Thomas, Margaret Joseph, Marina Fernandez, Prem, Ramona Gonzalez, Sumesh Das. We offer as Thanksgiving on the wedding anniversaries of Richardson and Maria Felister. Amanda and Roger, for Vinita and Anthony, we offer thanksgiving for the favors received for Dorothy Sheila Arun, Mary Josephine Simon, Santosh Prabhu, for favors received by Dominic and Kaushika Paul. Dr. J. Erudayaraj and Prema Erudayaraj, G. Harry, Nadine Ria. Thanksgiving for the recovery of Sauri Raju, Rita Raju, and Vinod. For infant G. For infant Vikram. For healing. 
we also pray for the following special intentions healing for Yannick, special intention of um, Rosalind, Nathan, and Sunil Dominic, of Neil and Tanya, for brother Anil Sagar, good health of sister Sadna, for good health of Stephen, for recovery of Andrea, for Remigius Martin, visas for grandchildren, for well-being of, of Anu and the child, well-being of Clint and Andrea, for God's blessings on Ava on the new academic year, and for God's blessings on the wedding of Shubal and Pooja. With these intentions and with our own, let us now prayfully participate in this Holy Eucharist. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the gospel today, the Lord teaches us an attitude that we need to have when we pray, when we do acts of charity, and when we do acts of self-mortification, fasting and praying. These acts of, these good acts, when we perform, the intention behind it should not be that the others would see it, therefore they would glorify us or appreciate. That should not be the intention. Rather, the intention should be that the Heavenly Father would recognize it and we get the blessing from the Heavenly Father. We have that as our intention, then the good actions that we carry out has a better meaning. As we partake in this Holy Eucharist, as we prepare ourselves, let us ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy, especially for those moments when we try to carry out our good works for the appreciation from people looking for vain glory. I confess to Almighty to God and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gave one origin to all peoples, and will to gather from them one family for yourself. Fill all hearts, we pray, with a fire of your love, and kindle in them a desire for the just advancement of their neighbor, that through the good things which you richly bestow upon all, 
Each human person may be brought to perfection. Every division may be removed and equity and justice may be established in human society. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace about to you, so that, having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. As it is written, He has distributed freely, He has given to the poor, His righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed for the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way to be generous in every way, which through us will produce thanksgiving to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who takes great delight in his commandments. His descendants shall be powerful on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Blessed, blessed the, the man, man who fears, fears the Lord. Lord. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. A light rises in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. Blessed, Blessed the, man the man who fears, who fears the, the Lord. Lord. Open-handed he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His might shall be exalted in glory. Blessed, Blessed the man, the man who, fears who fears the Lord. The Lord. Gospel Acclamation If anyone loves me, he will keep my words, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and he will come to him. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. For then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know 
what your right hand is doing. So that your giving may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may, be, may not be seen by others, but by, the, by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Caritas Internationalis is uh, one of the world's biggest charitable organizations run by our Catholic Church. In almost all parts of the world across the globe, doing lots of charitable activities by a lot of charitable contributions by the people, the faithful. Four years back, they started a special campaign. And the name of the campaign was Share the Journey. This campaign, Share the Journey, was very specially having a target group. And that target group was the migrants and the refugees. So with its institutional capacities, this Caritas Internationalis reached out as many people as possible across the globe who suffer injustice, who suffer a lot of difficulties in their way, in their life journey, because they are migrants or refugees. In these four years, very specially, there were about 162 globe-wide institutions belonging to this of uh, Caritas in Internationalis, who initiated almost 130 new initiatives to enhance the lives of the migrants and the refugees. And just yesterday was the closure of this program. And Cardinal Tagle, who is a president of Caritas Internationalis, has given his uh, the, the closing address in which he said, this journey of this, this program of sharing the journey will continue. It's just a closure of one particular program, but it will continue. We will continue to accompany those in need in whatever ways that is possible to us. Well, dear brothers and sisters, this charitable activity is carried out very specially by us. It's nothing new. Our Lord in the gospel itself, he has invited us, give. Give to those who are in need. And it will be given back. Full measure, pressed down. It will be poured into your lap. And St. Paul, as we read these days in the first reading very specially, has a particular, in all his missionary journeys, has a particular special request. A request that he makes to those people who, who are in a better off situation, to be more generous in contribution towards those who are in need, very especially the poor Christians in Jerusalem. And that's what we heard yesterday and continue today as well. So God blesses the cheerful giver. So he encourages them. And whatever the Lord has blessed the people with, we should be able to share with one another, very especially those who are in need. And uh, this is something, a program or 
a, a Christian um, expectation to be charitable. When we say, I love my God and love one another as God loves me, that is one way that we can express our love. Being available by being charitable to the other. When he was, uh, when Pope Francis was addressing to this group, in one of, one of these four years of this program, once he said, how do we accompany or how do we take care of the refugees? He used four powerful words. One, welcome. Two, protect. Three, promote. Four, integrate. Welcome, protect, promote and integrate. Either physically or spiritually or in whatever ways that is possible. Those who are in need in our, uh, in our midst, we should be people who welcome them who receive them who, to look after in whatever ways possible of their needs, protecting them from possible dangers, promoting their welfare, and therefore leading an integrated life where the whole humanity is being protected from all dangers. So it may not be a, for, for, as an individual person or an individual family that we, we, may, we may not be able to do great things, but when we come together, when we come together as a parish community, when we come together as few groups of people, we will be able to achieve a greater lot. As uh, this charitable organization, Caritas Internationalis, uh, is achieving. Let us, during this Eucharist, ask for this grace to have the same intention that the Lord has put us into, to be a cheerful giver, to spend a little more quality time with those who are in need, to spend a little more of our energy, little bit of our resources to those who are in need, protecting them from possible dangers, promoting their welfare, so that we may build a better humanity. Let us ask for this grace during this Eucharist. Amen. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that yours and my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Heavenly Father. Oh, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of the, all His holy church. Hear, O Lord, in your mercy, the prayers of those who cry to you. And as you receive your church's offering, grant that all may be filled with the spirit of divine childrenship so that with the inequalities overcome by charity, one family of peoples may be formed in your peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created the humanity, and when he, he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers that tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together, with the exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in a humble praise as we acclaim. Oh, uh -huh. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by you. Cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis our Pope, Peter our Archbishop, and all the clergy and the entire humanity. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence the prayer Jesus, our Saviour, taught us. Our, our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. pandemic. Almighty and merciful Father, who show your love to all your creation, we come before you asking for a quick control of coronavirus currently ravaging the world. Hear graciously the prayers we make for those affected by the virus in various parts of the world. Grant healing to the sick, eternal life to the dead, and consolation to the bereaved families. Protect doctors, nurses, and others serving the sick. We pray that as medicines and vaccines to combat the sickness are being found and administered, they may be safely, effectively, and equitably distributed to the most vulner vulnerable population all over the world. We pray for all governments and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Let us pray. Having been fed with the one bread by which you constantly renew the human family, we pray, O Lord, that from participation in this sacrament of unity, we may draw a love strong and pure to help peoples in their development and prompted by charity to fulfill what justice requires. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear people, thank you for joining us for this 
Eucharistic celebration. A gentle reminder, kind, do kindly uh, join us also for the evening rosary, which will be conducted at uh, 7 p.m. at the Redemptorist Media Center. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist is offered. Let us go and love the Lord in one another. Thanks be to God. Jesus is the joy of living. He's the king of life to me. Unto him my all I'm giving is forevermore to be. I will do what he commands me. Anywhere he leads I'll go. Jesus is the joy of living. He's the dear.